Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back up with a YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts of nail school. I'm going to be laying out all of this extraordinarily great advice on the table for you so you can either take it or you can leave it. I am going into my eighth grade year, so I do. I guess I'm a pro at being a middle schooler. I'm going to be in ninth grade next year, so I thought I'll be generous enough to share with you guys the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts, like I said at the beginning of this of this video of middle school. The first one. This one's like really, really important because this can like really determine on how you come across to other people, not only in your grade, but other people in the school. So please listen up. Hey guys, it's me editing. I just wanted to tell you guys, um, if you don't care about how people perceive you, that's great. But um, I meant to, I meant to also add inside of there um, how your personality will change and how you will start to see changes in your behavior. So, actually, I'm just gonna let my past self explain it because I explained it pretty good, except for just that part. So yeah, please be very, very careful about who you surround yourself with. Please be careful. If you want to be popular, that's fine. Do not surround yourself with the popular rude people. There's popular. There's two types of popular people. Well, there's actually like multiple types, but there's the other two main types. Popular rude, popular nice. If you want to be popular, but you also want to be nice, surround yourself with the popular nice people. If you're usually a quiet kid, but you want to become popular, avoid the popular be avoid the popular rude kids. Excuse me, I had like a little stroke there. Is a scientifically proven fact that who you surround yourself with you will become um so please be careful about who you surround yourself with know your schedule before you get there well if you have like an online schedule programming thing and you sign in and you can see like all the schedules know your schedules and i think well maybe it should show like the room number but also when you get to school you should get like a um a schedule anyways so how I like to do it is if it's like 113 and then I'm like in the 90s, I just keep going down until I find it. But please do not ask the upper the upperclassmen. I, I say upperclassmen lightly because we're not in high school. We're in middle school. Not ask them because they're either going to give you a snarky remark or they're probably just going to walk away. But if you find the nice ones, that is great. Number three, do not be immature. Don't be immature, especially in eighth grade. Everyone in eighth grade is just pro is just trying to get out of the school that they're in, unless if there's like high school built into the middle of school. But everyone in eighth grade is try just trying to get out of the school. Do not try to be a class clown because trust and believe, no, barely anyone's going to care. Barely anyone's going to care. Please, 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 do not try to be a class clown unless if you're actually funny because then you'll get a little bit of laughs number four okay i wish i would have taken this one because I, sometimes i just did this when it was unnecessary only talk back to teachers when it's necessary do not talk back to a teacher when they make one little mistake please don't You're probably already going through some stuff and then you have to add on to it because they did something wrong but if, like if they're like going off on you for no reason like i'm talking about like going off like yelling at you go ahead by all means go ahead check the teacher do not like get upset over the little things like teachers are humans too like they're not just like they're not robots look about your teacher they don't grade your paper you know like when they said because they probably have something going on like please don't please don't like yell at your teachers especially the nice teachers because the nice teachers are the nice teachers <laughs> yeah they're the nice teachers number four i think i lost track of what i was talking about but number four always do your work always do your work most i'm pretty sure like most high schools they take like the seventh and eighth grade grades so please do good especially in those years sixth grade i don't know if it really matters for most high schools but please please do good for seventh and eighth grade please number five or number six i really lost count sign up for clubs so, clubs are really really fun and at the end of the day if you don't sign up for clubs you're gonna be like well, I never did clubs, so I don't know how it feels. Sign up for clubs. I never signed up for a club. Never signed up for a club. Uh, mostly because my school is like 30 minutes away from my house. I'm not even going to say 30 minutes. I'm going to say like 10, 20 minutes away from my house. Um, so no one could be able to drive me back and forth, you know. Especially after school because both my parents were working at the time. 
but I might be able to do a club this year so yeah okay this one is like really advice but like it's just something to watch out for um people like if your if your um school is crowded especially if it has high school in it beware people are going to be stepping on your new shoes <laughs> people are going to be stepping on your new shoes so please beware beware try to keep your try to keep your cool but they keep doing it by all means go off on them because if you're stepping on the back of my shoes five times in a row that's a problem that's an actual problem and you deserve to be checked i don't even know if i'm on i think i'm like on eight now seven eight please try to keep your temper when people are standing in front of your lockers there's going to be a lot of people thinking that they're entitled to stand in front of people's lockers ask them politely the first time you just say excuse me i'm trying to get to my locker they don't move the second time say it louder excuse me i'm trying to get to my locker if they don't move the third time by all means start yelling because i'm trying to get to class and you're staying in a way why do you think you're entitled why do you think you're entitled why do you think you're entitled <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so weird <laughs> like why do you think you're entitled come on now like i'm still waiting for a val for, like for a valid answer well, guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment subscribe and turn post notifications so you know when i post whoa what was that <laughs> um i hope you guys actually was able to take some stuff from here take some notes you know be ready for your sixth grade seventh grade or even eighth grade year i'll see you guys in the next video peace out wow